Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with our Arizona playoff game in the Sportsman Z Football League. As you will recall, the Arizona Wranglers of 1984 of the USFL were a team I was taking through the season, and we finished second in our conference to the Minnesota Twins. And um, as such, we were one of the top two teams, and so we are playing for the conference championship in this game. Now, I also quick played the other conference championship, which you may or may not recall, was the 2018 Philadelphia Eagles at the 95 Patriots, who had the best record in their conference. And the Patriots came out um, victorious in that game. And so now we are playing Minnesota, who we had lost to during the season, to try to see who advances from our conference. So here we are um, on the kickoff return. And I am going to take take the take a knee for the touchback, and we will continue. And I am going to do an off tackle run with the halfback on the first play. And that was uh, Tim Spencer, and he gets wrapped up pretty quickly. So. Okay, let me see here. Um, all right, I'm going to go flat to the flanker on second down. And there's a penalty. I think it's on Minnesota, though. Looks like it's on Minnesota. Um, we got a second and ten. No, I guess it was on, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let me see if I can... So um, we've got a second and 10. I'm going to go short to the flanker. And he gets sacked. Our quarterback got sacked. So there's a loss of yards right there. All right. Uh, we're going to go... Four wide receiver, short to the wide receiver on third and 20. Don't know how much that's going to help, but we'll see. And it's incomplete, so we have to punt. Oh, wait, we're going to accept the penalty. So what's that get us? I guess that gets us a new set of downs. We're going to go end run with a halfback. And the Minnesota defense uh, ties that up pretty quickly after just a two-yard gain. Well, we got a new lease on life. I'm happy about that. Let's go flat pass to the tight end. And that's incomplete. So we got a third and eight coming up at, uh, at the Arizona 32, our own 32. I'm going to go, yeah, three wide receiver, flat pass to the split end. Let's see if we can pick it up or get a penalty like we did last time. And we do pick it up and a little more. So now we got a first down at the uh, 45, the Arizona 45. So uh, we're going to go, yeah, let's, let's try that. Let's go with the blocking back formation and let's go off tackle with Spencer. And he gets a few yards there. Three yards, so we got a second and seven. Yeah, pro set is good. Let's go flat. To the let's go flat to the halfback and that's gonna be a good for the first down at least got eight yards on that 
Uh, I'm gonna go. Let's go. Let's try a long pass just to see what they do. See if they can pick it up. Oh no, he's gonna get sacked and fumble. Do we jump on it or did he get it? No, they got it. All right, we're going to go. Um, I'm gonna, just going to put in the balance defense. And we tied that up pretty quickly. That was good. Going to go in the nickel, yeah. Go with the pass. Uh, pass and double team. Um, Diggs. So we're going to double team Stefan Diggs and look for the pass. There was a run and he goes right up the middle and he's got a lot of yards, but hopefully maybe he was offsides or, or a false start or some kind of penalty on him. Nope. So they got a first and 10 at the Arizona 14. So let's just put in the pass. And we do, we sack uh, Cousins nice, although he's still in field goal range, so that's not so great, but. I'm gonna put in the pass defense. He is passing, so we were looking for it. Um, and they, it looks like they complete it, do they? Yeah, four yards. So they've got a, uh, well, there was a penalty. No, now they've got it. I can't believe it. Another penalty on us. First and goal to nine. Well, we caught them running. I mean, if nothing else, we're making them waste time. So let's put in the pass. And they are passing. And it is incomplete. And we're definitely going to put in the pass now. Third and goal. And we sack Cousins, but they're going to have a field goal. Because of the other penalties we had. I'm going to put in kick block. And he makes it. So it is 3 nothing Minnesota. With 8.13 left in the first quarter. And they kick off to us. 7.55 left now. And I'm going to take it in the end zone for a touchback. I'm going to go short to the split end on first down. And there's a, already a penalty. Hopefully it's on them. Because I, I didn't notice. And no, it's not. Of course, we've got more penalties here already. I'm going to go look into the split end. And we do complete it on first and 20. So I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback on second down. And he gets some yards. That, that was pretty nice. Six yards. So I'm going to have like a third and eight coming up. Yeah, third and eight from the 27. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. That's our old standby. And he gets sacked on a flat pass. Minnesota is simply just dominating us here. All right, we got a punt. Can't do the fake punt. Can't do anything like that. Got to actually punt it. All 
and they're going to receive it at about 38 and we tie them up right there at about the 42 so got a four yard return on that and they have a first and 10 at their 42. I'm going to put in the run and they don't they're going to pass and Kirk Cousins completes a pass for about 14 yards I'll put in pass again I guess they're they're dead set on on passing the ball and even though we were looking for it they still got another like 16 on that So Minnesota is definitely, they're moving the ball on us. I'm going to look for the pass. And now they run it. And we tie them up pretty quickly, but they still get three yards. I'm going to look for the pass. They run again, and this time we get them in the backfield for a loss or no gain. So now they've got a third and eight. Definitely going to put in the, I'm going to put in the pass and double team digs again. And this time it's a flat pass and the guy, the first guy there didn't make the tackle. So he got a first down. So Minnesota's going to have a first down at about the 16, at our 16. I am going to put in the pass defense. And they are passing. And it's incomplete. 326 left just in the first quarter, so we're not even out of the first quarter yet. I'm going to put in, I'll put in the run, I suppose. They suggested the run, I'll do it. And we're going to get them way in the backfield. Maybe we can hold them to a field goal. That would be huge if we could do that. All right, I'm gonna put in the pass, obviously. I'm just putting in a general pass defense though. And we get them quickly. Does a flip to the halfback and he only gets one yard. So he probably will be kicking the field goal here. I'm gonna put in the kick block. I don't know how that helps. Oh, and he misses it. Nice, I guess it did help. So Minnesota, despite really commanding this game, um, is only ahead three nothing. And we're gonna try a look in pass to the split end. And that's good for a lot of yards. Nice, about 16. So that was a good call. At least we're getting some breathing room too and we're moving down the field. So even if we have to punt, at least we'll, I'm gonna go end run with Spencer. We will um, end up, no, he got caught in the backfield. I guess we, I, I guess we really cannot run on this Minnesota defense. Um, I'm not gonna put that in. Let's put in three wide receiver, two running back, Let's go short to the halfback. And that's gonna be incomplete. So we got a third and 11 at our own 44 coming up. I'm gonna go short to the split end. And there's a penalty on the play, hopefully on them. Yeah, it was, uh, wait a minute, defensive? No, no, it was on us, so we're gonna punt. But at least we had better position, field position this time to punt from. And he may get the ball right there at the 10. I'm going to do a linebacker blitz. Uh, he's passing, and the linebacker is whatever he's doing. He's not getting in. 
We do wrap him up before he gets the first down, but he does get eight yards. And they're going to have a first and 10 at the 33 because they, we had a penalty, of course. I'm going to put in the run, defense, and he's passing. All right, well, we knock it down, so it's incomplete. And we have started the second quarter. I'm going to put in the pass on second down and 10. And now he runs, but we wrapped it up pretty quickly there. Three-yard gain. That's not too bad, so he's got a third and seven. And I am going to put in the pass for sure. And, of course, we can't get to him, but we do... Even if it's complete, and it looks like it might be, but it was complete for four yards, he'll have to punt. And we're going to put in the punt return. And there's a penalty. Please let this not be on us. Um, if I accept the penalty, it's Minnesota ball on the Minnesota 35. If I decline the penalty, it's Arizona ball on the 8. And they'll have a 4th and 8 at the 35. I think I'm going to accept the penalty and make them re-kick. Because I didn't like the field position of being at the 8-yard line. And I'm hoping for something better. And I am going to run with the ball. All right. Well, we got something better. We got to the 15. That's a little better. I'm going to go short to the flanker on first down. We're losing 3 nothing here with 12.49 left in the half, first half. And it's incomplete. I'm going to go line buck with a halfback. Now he gets wrapped up quickly. I can't even fool him. They're so good. All right. Uh, we're going to go, yeah, definitely. Let's go short to the split end. Quick pass, and it's good for a first down. Nice. Going to go off tackle with the halfback. We still have a lot of time left, and I think we still need to try to establish a running game and throw him off and make him so that he's not always looking for the pass. All right, we got a second and six. That wasn't too bad, so I'm going to do a look in to the split end. And that's going to be incomplete. Third and six, I'm going to go flat to the tight end. And that's incomplete. So we got a fourth and six at the Arizona 32, got a punt. They catch it at the 25, and maybe they're just going to stop right there. Yep. I'm going to I'm going to guess the run on first down, and he does, and we wrap him up quickly. So that's going to set the tone for the for this set of downs. Now that he has a second and ten, definitely looking pass. And that's going to be complete for a big bomb. Dang, a lot of yards there. 33 yards. 
That time I should have been watching Diggs. So he's got a first and 10 and he runs it up the middle for like five. So he's got a second and five coming up. I'm gonna put, put in the run defense and he does a flip out to the halfback and gets the first down. So he's moving the ball deep in our territory now. He has another field goal, um, at least he's in field goal range. I'm gonna run and key on the halfback, Murray. And he's passing. So that was all out and uh, it was an all out bad call. So he got 12 yards on that on a pass to Kyle Rudolph Let's look for run again. And he does run it this time, and this time we, but we still let him have four yards on the run, even though we were looking for it. Could have been, I suppose, worse. I suppose we'll look for the run again. And he does run. And he gets the first down now. So. He's got a first and goal. I'm going to I'm going to look pass. And he runs it, but we get him really quickly that time. No gain. I mean, the Arizona defense this year was very good. It had a very good defense. So even if I don't guess right, potentially uh, we're still able to wrap up the play. And there's a penalty on this play and they're letting him run the play, so I'm going to guess it's a free play here because it's a penalty on us. That's my guess. And that's true. So it's now they got a first and goal to one. Stellar. I'm going to guess run. And we do stop him. Uh, so now he's got a second and goal at the one. I am going to guess run again. I mean, that, that's really all you can do. And this time he makes it in. So he's got a 10 nothing lead now. Or it could be nine. If, and he does miss. Oh, and... We knocked it backwards. Nice. That was beautiful. So it is only 9 nothing, but it doesn't really matter. It's still two scores. Even if we got a touchdown and a two-point conversion, we're still losing 9-8. I'm going to take it for a touchback. With 425 left, uh, I'm going to go end run with the halfback. I mean, I think we just need to regroup it. Whoa, he got a nice run there. All right, I'm going to end run with the halfback again. And that this time it doesn't work real well. He lost a yard. So now we're gonna now we're gonna go with the pro set and I'm gonna go short to the split end. And he catches it and gets the first down at midfield. So this is a good sign we're moving the ball now. I'm gonna go end run with a half back. And this time he's got some yards. But I have to be careful about running because with time winding down, the computer always makes the people run out of bounds. Um, I'm, yeah, let's, let's take a timeout on this. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go flat to the tight end. There was a penalty. Let's see if it's on him. 
mid does not look like it is. No. So we got a second and eight. So now I'm going to go short to the split end. And that's incomplete. So we're going to have a third and eight. Third and eight, let's go short to the wide receiver. And he is going to get the first down. Nice. So we've got a first down. Now we're in um, Minnesota territory. However, remember, Corral is terrible at field goals. So um, I'm going to go short to the flanker. And that's incomplete. He's, uh, yeah, as I was saying, Corral is terrible at field goals. You have to get really close for him to even have a shot. So we're going to go short to the split end. There is a penalty on the play. Hopefully it's on Minnesota because it seems like they're always on us. And that seems a little crazy, but it is on us. So we got a second and 20. Um, going to definitely go short. To this to the wide receiver Douglas and that's incomplete so we got a third and 20 coming up at the Minnesota 46 not even close to field goal range I'm gonna go I'm gonna put in I'm pulling out all the stops I'm going long to the flanker this is gonna be an all-or-nothing and it's incomplete So we're going to punt. Uh, I'm going to do a coffin corner punt. And that was a really bad coffin corner punt. Not terrible, but he's going to have the ball to 19 or 20. Yeah, first and goal to 19. Um, I'm going to look pass. Only a minute 22 left. He runs it, and we stop it quickly for two yards. Um, I'm going to look pass. I mean, I just don't want him to get... And, of course, there's a penalty on the play. Could be on us. It always is. It's incomplete. And it looks like it will be on us. So he has a first and 10 at the Minnesota 26. I am going to look for the pass, though. And that's incomplete. So time winding down for him here. I'm going to look for the pass. Minnesota leading 9 nothing. if you joined us late. And there's really no excuse for that since it's a YouTube video. But anyway, um, yeah, Minnesota is up 9 nothing, And they have a first and 10 with 37 seconds left. I'm going to look for the pass. We're going to need some breaks in the second half. There's no doubt we're going to have to have some things go our way in the second half that haven't happened in the first half. He's got a second and eight with eight with eight seconds left. Oh no, that's that's it. He just ran out the clock, and so we're going to the second half. And uh, he'll have the ball and a nice return too, out to the 26-yard line. I'm going to look pass. I mean, I think we can wrap up the run even when he does that. Um, it, and we're not looking for it, so we're better off looking for the pass. He, even though he got five yards there, he's always going to go back to the pass. And But now he does it again, though. He does it twice in a row, and he does get us. He got seven yards there. I'm going to look for the pass. 
and we're off sides of course I'm gonna look for the pass and he does pass and it's incomplete so 13 15 left in the third quarter we're losing nine nothing in the conference championship to the Vikings I'm gonna do a safety blitz let's see what happens on a safety blitz um, nothing good it doesn't look like well no it is he only got two he got minus two yards so yeah I mean whatever I did there it works so he's got a sec a third and seven and I'm going to put in the pass and he does pass and he misses the halfback so he's gonna have to punt we hold him to a punt he's punting from his own 41 I'll put in the punt return Still only nine nothing. If we could get anything going, we would uh, we would be in, in decent shape. It's not like we're getting killed here. I'm going to try to catch the ball and return it, and we get to the twenty one. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. We got to be. We still got to play our game plan, and that's incomplete. Because, I mean, it's only 9 nothing. It's not that bad uh, yet. I'm going to go end run with a halfback. I'm looking for that big, like, roll of a two. No, he doesn't get it. He gets knocked back in the backfield. No gain. So, 11.30 left on the third. I'm going to go short to the flanker. He's going to get sacked. Now we got a punt from deep in our own territory. Not good. All right. I'm going to punt. He's going to catch it and run with it and get some serious yards with it, too. So he's going to have a first down at our 40, uh, 43. Uh, I'm going to look run on first down. I mean, he really should be running the ball because he's got a 9 nothing lead. But we, we hem it up, but after he gets like five yards, so... Uh, I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he runs, of course. And we get him, but not until after he gets a lot of yards. So, 939 left. We're going to look for the pass. Yeah, I mean, we need an interception, we need a turnover, we need something here. Or or even really hold him here, because I'm thinking a, a field goal for him is not really a, an assured thing. And there's, maybe that penalty was on him, because he didn't let him run the play. Yep, so he's got a second and 15 at the Arizona 33 gonna look pass and that is going to be complete but he only gets three yards on it so he'll have a third and 12 coming up hopefully we can stop this because a field goal here is really not an assured thing and it's incomplete and even that would put us within two touchdowns if he kicked a field goal and was successful. And I'm going to put in kick block and try to stop it. But he does make it, it looks like. So, yeah, it's going to be 12 nothing. 
I mean, offensively, we just defensively, we're not playing that bad, that poorly. We just can't seem to. Uh, we just can't seem to get anything going offensively on the Minnesota defense. And that was much the same story in the game that we played during the regular season, although we did score points in that one at least. And so far here we haven't. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. I mean, we only really need two touchdowns, and we could win the game if we held them the rest of the way. That's a nice pickup. We get six yards there. I'm going to go flat to the flanker. And he gets it for a first down. Nice. I mean, that's all we got to do. I mean, there's 735 left here in the third quarter, so we have time. I'm going to go flat to the split end and he I think he catches it for one yard all right well that's something second and nine at the Arizona 39 I'm gonna go flat to the flanker and that time it's incomplete to nobody Uh, yeah, so we got a third and nine. Uh, I'm going to go short. I guess we need to go short to the other wide receiver, Bugs. And that's complete for a first down. Nice. That was a good call. And now we are just barely in the Minnesota territory, first and ten at the Minnesota 49. I'm going to go short again to the flanker. I mean, we obviously can't run on him. And he gets a first down and some more. Nice pickup of 15 there for us. Try to slip in a run, halfback. You know what? I'm going to go off tackle with the fullback. Ah, no, he's going to get caught way back in the backfield. Negative one yard. Let's go look in pass to the split end on second and 11. There is a penalty, but he's letting us play. So let's see what this is. We got seven yards there. If I accept the penalty, it's Arizona ball on the Minnesota 14. Well, that's uh, really what we're gonna do. So we got a first and 10 at the Minnesota 14 and I'm going to go Short to the flanker. 4.54 left in the third quarter. We're only down by less than two touchdowns, and we've got our touchdown right there. So it's going to be when we make the extra point, and hopefully Corral makes the extra point, it would then be 12-7. Um, and he misses it. So it's really 12-6. So if we made another touchdown and missed another um, extra point and still managed to stop Minnesota, we would have a tie game. But hopefully the next time we wouldn't miss the extra point. Corral is a terrible kicker. He's the one thing that's really, I mean, we could have been better than we were this season if, if not for Corral being so bad at kicking. All right, I'm going to I'm going to put in a run on first down. And he does run and we do hem it up pretty quickly. 1 yard gain for him. 4:17 left in the third quarter. Plenty of time. Um I'm going to yeah, I'll put in the pass. He's got a second and 9 and it's incomplete it looks like. Yep. So he has a third and nine. I am going to put in the pass. And no, it's what is it? it? I think it's complete. Yeah, he got it complete for 11 yards. See, this is this would be a perfect time really for us 
to force a turnover. I'm going to do a linebacker blitz. And that looks like it was complete, but we were right there to, to shut it down after three yards. So he'll have a second and seven at his 46. Yeah, let's guess run. Computer's suggesting we guess run. Let's do that. And he does do it. And, and we do get him. But he still got three yards on that, so he's going to have a third and four, which is not too bad. I'm still going to guess pass, though. And he does pass, and he does get it for a first down and a lot more than the first down for 11 yards. So a minute 36 in the third, I'm going to go safety blitz. Well, you would think one of these would work. And we do hem up his run after three yards, though. So he'll have a second and seven. I'm going to guess run again. This time he's passing, though. But it's incomplete. We were lucky. It was incomplete. Now he's got a third and seven. Definitely looking pass. I'm going to pass double team digs. And now he's out on his own and running, and we are not going to stop him. He gets the first down on a must run. All right. Well, if he scores, if he scores anything but a field goal we're really in trouble because we're now approaching the fourth quarter. I've got the pass defense in. We really need to stop him. And we are not, we're not going to. Well, he's down to the five. So he's got a first and goal. I'm going to look run. No, I'm going to look run. And he's going to pass. And he's going to pass for a touchdown. So now we're in trouble. We're right at the start of the fourth quarter. And we're going to be down by two touchdowns. And he's going to pass in for the, the two-point conversion. And it's incomplete. Nice. He tried the two-point conversion and it didn't work. So... So it's six. To, it's eighteen to six. So we're down by two um, six-point touchdowns. Again, and this time now we've really got to start to work it down the field. We can't. We cannot run the ball. We can't pretend we're going to run the ball. That was a nice gain there. To Tim Spencer for six yards. 1440 or actually less now 1420 left in the fourth quarter gonna go look into the split end and he gets the first down I'm gonna go long Long to the split end. We have to try to get a big completion for some big yards, and he's going to get sacked. So now I'm in, like, perpetual long pass mode. I'm going to go with this formation. Let's go short. Second and 17. If we can pick up this manageable you can't handle the truth. short pass. Well, he gets, uh, we needed 17, he gets five of that, so we got a third and 12. So now it is manageable, we can try another short pass and potentially get a first down. Short to the flanker. Split end hasn't been doing well that I remember, and he gets sacked. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna, I guess we're going to punt. 
I mean, the chances of picking this up, fourth and 17, is just not really good. We don't have a high octane offense. We're going to have to hope for a Minnesota mistake here. A fumble, a muffed punt, um, an interception. We're going to have to hope for something like that. Because, you know, we're, we're down by two touchdowns with only 12.52 left. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he runs it. And he really should be running it. And he's into our territory at our 45. I'm going to put in the pass. Yeah, I mean, he really should be running the ball. I guess I'll guess run. I'm going to guess run. Now he does, now he passes. And he gets the first down. He's moving the ball, moving the ball, 11-23. I mean, we can't allow another score. I mean, really, we're already down by too much with too, too little time left. And we stop him at the four, which is not good, because he's going to have a field goal, at least. I mean, I say that. We did stop two of his field goals and maybe a, a, an extra point conversion. So uh, I'm going to... I'm going to run and key on the halfback. And he's, of course, going to pass and make a touchdown. And now, pretty much the game is out of our uh, ability to win, come back and win. Put in the kick block. I mean, 10-15 left. If this were a real NFL game, you know, well, I don't know. At 25-6, 25-6, even in a real NFL game with 10-15 left, it would be questionable. Although the Bears did that against the Lions in week one of the real NFL, so who knows. But uh, I'm going to take it for a touchback. Yeah, short to the split end is what I put in, and he does get it, and he gets a nice gain, but, you know, again, I don't think we have enough time to get three touchdowns. Um, short to the flanker. And that's going to be incomplete. Missed it badly. 9.19 left. I'm going to go short to the split end. There's a penalty on the play. Hopefully it's on him. But it's not. So we got a second and 20. Gonna go long to the flanker. And it's incomplete. Third and 20, we gotta go long again. Because now time is working against us just as much as the downs are. Long to the split end. And he's gonna get sacked. Uh, as much as this is unlikely to happen, I have to put in a long pass and go for it on 4th and 20-something. 4th and 27. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, God, I hit that too quickly. Now I got a punt. It won't let me go back and make, make a change. All right. Well, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. We were going to probably lose the game anyway, very likely. If it had been a really, if it had been a closer game, a one touchdown game, that really would have made me mad. But um, right now, not as much. And he passes. I'm going 
It'll probably be close to under eight minutes here. 7.32, yeah. I'm going to look for the run. And he passes. He's going to pass again. He really wants to run up the score, it looks like. Which he doesn't really have to do. He just has to win the conference here and then advance to play um, New England. So I'm going to put in the run. No, no. He really wants to run the score up. He gets four yards there. Again, the score is 25 6. 657 left. I'm going to put in the pass because he's determined to run up the score and we're off sides and uh, he will probably, I don't know, maybe he'll accept the penalty. I don't know. I'm going to put in the run. That time he does, we guessed it right and we hemmed it up and so he's got a third and one still. I'm going to put in the run. And we're off sides, of course, on a key for third and one. I mean, that killed us as much as anything was the penalties. The penalties were all going against us, and that made it that also made it very difficult for us to try to beat Minnesota. I'm going to put in the pass. And he does pass, but he doesn't get the first down. He got seven yards of it, though, so he's got a third and three coming up. I'm going to put in the run. I think he'll try to run for it, and he doesn't. So we got to hope Cousins is incomplete, and he is. But he'll probably kick a field goal. Doesn't really matter. Put in a kick defense. And he doesn't nail it, so it's 28-6. We had just over three minutes left to go. I'm going to take it for a touchback. Uh, let's go short to the flanker. I mean, really, we're just trying to pad stats here. We're not really trying to win the game because we can't. Uh, I'm going to go short to the halfback. Maybe a penalty on him, who knows? No, he intercepts it, so let's hope it's on him. I'm going to definitely accept the penalty. So we got a first and 10 at the 40. Gonna go short to the split end. And that's going to be incomplete. Um, I'm going to go short to the flanker. And that's incomplete. So we got a third and 10 coming up from our own 40. 204 left just before the, first, the two minute warning. I'm going to go short to the flanker. And that's incomplete. I'm going to put in. The pro set and we are going to go short to the split end on fourth and ten and he gets sacked nothing 
You lose. Good day, sir. Dropped for a four yard loss. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the bad luck and the bad play calling and the bad team against Minnesota just continues. And they should run the ball, and they do. And they, they get five yards out of it with time ticking down. I'm going to put in the run. And he doesn't get the first down, so he's got a third and, like, one coming up. Third and one at the Arizona 27. I'm going to put in the run. And he does run, but we don't stop him. So before this play runs, I want to just look at the reports in case I can't bring up the box score. So let's see what we've got here. Greg Landry passing this game is 18 of 36, 176 yards, one touchdown. And Kirk Cousins is 25 of 36, 257 yards, two touchdowns, no interception. Tim Spencer has only has 10 rushes for only 35 yards. Uh, Kevin Long has a rush for a negative one. Randy S. Johnson has a rush for one yard. For them, Latavius Murray has 13 rushes for 41 yards. Delvin Cook has 11 rushes for 36. And Rock Thomas has six for 20. And even Kirk Cousin has a, has a rush for seven yards. And there you can see the receiving stats. Tremaine Johnson has 91 yards in receptions for us. Stefan Diggs has 105 yards. And look at all those yards those receivers have for Minnesota. So, um, Matt Wild um, punting has a 51 yard average, while Corral has a 39.9 yard average. Um, let's go up here and field goals. Bailey is zero for zero, uh, from one to 19 yards, one from one 20 to 19, one from two 30 to 39, one from one 40 to 49 overall three of four. And we have no extra points, obviously. So, so let's go back up here. Let me see, where is the time of possession is 24-28 for us and 35-10 for them. Never a good sign. Um, let's see. Penalties, they've had, thir we've had 13 penalties for 105 yards. They've had five for 54. So there you go. There's, I mean, you know, the, the stats tell them the game just as much as anything. And that's it. We lost the game, 28-6. Uh, so what did you guys think? Um, I mean, those were the final stats. And uh, so Minnesota will advance to the Super Bowl. Minnesota will play the the 2018 Minnesota. Um, uh, not the Minnesota Twins, the Minnesota Vikings will play the 95 Patriots in our Bob Z Football League. I will only be sending out those results via, you know, a video where I just say what happened and maybe some of the stats and everything, but I'm not going to televise that game. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.